Peace Hannigan here. How are you? We are filming live at the moment from the middle of nowhere. So we have this. So, basically, why, how did you even get there? I, well, uh, what happened was I, uh, hung out with George all night. I said it. I did. What? What? Hung out with this incredible Incredible man. All night. All the next day. And then most of the night. Uh, and then this is me behind a guardrail. Yes. Because once I realized that I I didn't want to ride. This guy was he's asking like acting like he didn't want to give me a ride, and I was just like, okay, don't give me a ride. You're we're cool. Uh, my independence is very important to me, and I would rather have a perfect goodbye, you know, rather than uh, to admit that I needed help. So. Help! I need help. Ah! I need a lot of help. Like, serious help. I need serious help. Uh, so anyway. Let me put my sunglasses on. Uh. So anyway. He stays right over there. Okay. And... The highway is right there. Well, that's not the highway. The highway, this go, this is the overpass. On the overpass tonight, we're gonna stay 18 forever. Won't let anyone Tell us anything. Okay. Some brand new for you. It's Friday night on the overpass. Some broken glass. So anyway. <clears throat> <clears throat> Back to my story. The view from the apartment balcony was epic. Okay. But then, so we have now this, like, epic view. If you were to venture into an epic view, okay, just like, look at this view. I'm, I'm in the view. I'm in the beautiful view, okay? So, in the view is this, this place. And there's, like, the view is here. Reality is here, and when you're in the middle, like I am at the moment, uh, been awake really long time, okay, long, long time, uh, there have been questionable things partaken of, uh, questionable, questionable things, okay? So, I'm having a great time. Fucking great time. Great time. Just look at me. Look at this. Look, just look at this. Look at this epic moment in history. This is a, an epic moment of history. 
right? Epic historical moment, right? So all of our lives, there's the easy way, there's the hard way, and then there's your own way. So this is my way, this is my way. And my way is get yourself stranded in the middle of a nice part of town that people do not ever walk upon. And I'm walking upon it. All right, so let's get, let's get some, uh, I've got food here wedged so I don't have to carry it. Right, food wedged behind there. Right, there's my, my backpack. Hey, who, here's looking at you, kid. So, life is great. But this is that weird place between having a car and not having a car. Like, it's this weird place. And it's like, you're living life more, but then and then you have these epic moments and everything's perfect. And then, and then reality kicks back in and it's like, all right, I gotta kick my way through this reality. And so then you are in this place where you have an amazing time and it is life-changing amazingness. But then, After this life-changing, amazing moment, you have a reality that kicks back in. Hold on, I'll get it. So, here's reality. Reality. Reality is here. This, this is inspiration. Inspiration is going after what you want, no matter what it takes to get there. And you will find yourself in the middle of a situation like this. So basically, that is how it goes. Life or death. Die slowly is here. Live mildly is here. If you really want to live, there's a sacrifice. There are sacrifices for those who really want to live. So, uh, my cigarette went somewhere. That was my ass. Okay. So, uh, So here's the deal. I'm on foot. There is money in my bank account, but I don't want to spend the money to take an Uber from way out in the middle of nowhere. So. I'm walking basically into the beyond, uh, high off of this, this, this life-changing sort of moment here. Life-changing moments. We now 
I have to go that way. And that way. Is uh. Is over there. Yep. That's uh. That's where we're going. That's where we're going. That's where we came from. And there's basically the exact same view as this over there on the other side of the bridge. Now, I was hoping that I would be lucky enough on this side of the overpass to uh, encounter a gas station or something, you know, gas station, uh, any anything really, uh, any, anything would have worked. I, I would have been happy with anything. Uh, found the cigarette, nice. Okay, so anything would have been great, but uh, you know, sometimes in life you have these epic moments, and. Uh, then moving out of the epic moment you are faced with uh, a long road with nothing uh, no street lights no uh, no sidewalk you know this is trailblazing at its finest I am blazing a trail where no one would ever walk. And, uh, when you're blazing trails, sometimes you come across these incredible kind of, uh, mind-blowing moments, you know? And then you have other, other encounters like this, where literally I'm in the middle of nothing right nothing I I have beautiful views beautiful views everywhere just incredible views you know and uh, I mean look at this look look just it's beautiful fucking beautiful right but in the middle of beauty there is chaos. In the middle of beauty, there is... How do you get to the beauty, you know? Like, I see in the distance this mansion of promise. And knowing how long it's gonna take me to get to anything. I don't know, I don't know how many hours it's even going to take. This could take hours. Nobody knows, right? Okay, so no one knows. But, sometimes, you just have to go for it. You just have to go for it. So, uh... So we're we're going for it. We're going for it. But uh I mean this place is so <clears throat> in the middle of nowhere. There aren't any there are no bugs. There aren't even any bugs. There are no bugs anywhere because there's nothing, there, we're just in the middle of nowhere, you know? So, but I just, I'm in the middle of nowhere, but I just came from somewhere incredible. 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 
and I'm going somewhere incredible, okay? But at the moment, I'm nowhere at all. So, it's kind of a, it's kind of such a huge deal at 11 o'clock at night that I decided I should make a post on YouTube uh, make a post on YouTube to kind of give you a, a glimpse as it were into my life welcome crazy but but the thing is in these moments when things are shocking in their uh, in their weirdness That's, that's where art is. That's where art is made. That's where art is birthed. Art is birthed between the last epic thing you did and the next epic thing you are going to do. Art is in the, in the center of that. Art is, art is life imitating itself. Backpack's getting heavy. Uh. This is what you call a souvenir, ladies and gentlemen. Souvenir. If I can get it in there. Right, I'll do that after the video's over. So, art. Is formed from this moment. This is the inspiration. I'm so high right now. This is the inspiration of all that I do. Freedom, liberty, 
the pursuit of happiness, the pursuit, the pursuit of higher things. And in life, you've got to dig down deep, okay? You've got to dig down deep into your own depths and your own, your own oceans. You've got to, you've got to change with the seasons. You've got to, you've got to be what you must in the moment. Don't just dream it. Be it. Because my promise to you, my promise to you will not be that it's easy. My promise to you will not be that you will always feel good or you will always have a place to sit, even. I can't guarantee that you will have an, an, an epic moment in the next day or two. But at some point, at some point, you will go from epic moment to epic moment. If in times like these, you're willing to fight and you're willing to, to bleed and you're willing to cry and you're willing to, to, to sweat. And you're willing to go places that no one goes with nothing but your shadow. So My, uh, my message is a simple one. Even in the midst of situations that would make most people cringe and turn back in defeat in situations that seem insurmountable your fight is your victory Your battle for style in the midst of a barren wasteland where there's no one to see it, to appreciate it. is the style that will carry you to those moments that people don't get to have. Moments of greatness. And at first, you'll look around and you'll think, what is this task before me? How, how am I supposed to get through this? What am I gonna do? Literally. What could I do? 
I could give up, give in, turn around, go back to where I came from, hang out until someone gives me a ride. And risk ruining the perfection of the moments that I shared with George. By weakness, by, by seeing my weakness, being so intimidated by it that I ask for help from someone else to bear those weaknesses. But every decision that you make in, the, in your life to seize your weakness by the balls and say, you know what? I want to do what I want to do. I'm going to make this epic. I'm going to make my memories priceless and perfect. It means leaving when you feel you must leave. It is going where you feel you must go. Doing what you feel you must do. And not counting the cost as if you have a credit card with no limit. When it comes to suffering Because if you're willing to suffer any length, to get what you want while you're alive, you will get what you want. You will get what you want and it will be something others only dream of. Something that people wouldn't even dream of because the very act of sitting and dreaming produces this, this cocoon of comfort around us. And we sink into it. We sink into the comfort and we sink into the, the, uh, to the easy aspects of life. And dreaming isn't something that you do when you're comfortable. Comfort is a a means to distract yourself from the very act of dreaming. Because dreaming, if you have a dream, if you have a hope, it produces this nervousness. And I love this quote, I'm nervous but it's a good nervous. From the TV show Catfish. And that really gave me perspective. Because I was so nervous before I went out on my date with George. I was so nervous getting ready, so nervous choosing an outfit that is kind of plain. as a statement. I was so nervous over there, I, I, uh, and it got late, I didn't even want to go. But my persistence, my persistence, the fact that I kept that dream before me the entire time, from the shower in the morning all the way through 
till I was walking up. I said, I'm gonna get this dream. I'm gonna have this moment and I'm gonna look good doing it. I'm gonna make the struggle look good. Don't ever stop struggling. Don't ever stop fighting. Don't ever stop dreaming. Don't ever stop being. Don't ever stop doing. Because if you fight alone, You'll never be alone in your victory. Never. And your victories will be celebrated in ways that you could only long for, not even dream for. And the character that you build is a fire that sets the souls of every person you come in contact with ablaze. And one day, when you, when you need that fire, when your fire's running low, when you don't have wood, when you don't, when you don't know how you're going to continue to be passionate in life. The fires in the hearts of the people that you loved into them, that's when it will come back to you. So I've spent 30 minutes with this. Uh, I play music on Monday. I haven't slept, I need to sleep, I haven't eaten, need to eat. But I wanted to take a moment and just uh, really give myself to the struggle. Because truly, art is not about the epic times in your life. Art is birthed in the times between the, the epic thing that inspires you and the next epic thing that will inspire you. What's in between? Your ability to fight in between when there's nothing for miles. Nothing in sight. something something so pure and unique something so powerful it lights the world. So 
Bring it on. Who's with me? Love you.